Hey, this is Joel Grind from Toxic Holocaust. We're a thrash metal band from Portland, Oregon. So I grew up in Maryland uh, pretty much for the first 20 some years of my life, you know, and basically what happened was, um, you know, the scene wasn't that good there for music, you know, and that's sort of, it, it was kind of a blessing and a curse because, you know, when you're younger, you want to jam with other musicians stuff like that. But the real problem was that uh, there was, you know, since there was nobody to play with, it kind of forced me to become a solo project with, with Toxic Holocaust. So, um, so it drew, made me my drive even more, but it also made me like hungry to like do something on a bigger scale. I've always wanted to tour, things like that, but couldn't do that as a solo project. So uh, the older I got, the more frustrated I got with the music scene there. And uh, I actually moved up and down the, the East Coast a few times. I, I, I lived in Boston for a little bit. I even moved in, to Florida for a little while. But long story short, um, you know, when Toxic Holocaust's name got a little bit more known, um, we had some interest from someone like uh, a music industry person from Seattle. And it kind of put the, the thought in my mind to move out, you know, out to the West Coast for that because I knew the music scene, especially with Thrash Metal, was like exploding, you know? And it was, it was like, finally, maybe I can get this started, you know, and get something out there. So first I moved to Seattle. And it was way too expensive, you know, I couldn't really afford Seattle, so... And Portland's a really fun city, and I visited there a few times, and uh, it kind of just... It just kind of just clicked. I was like, why don't I just move to Portland? It's so fun there. You know, the music scene's really good there too, but it's half the cost of Seattle, you know? I don't really know how to describe it, man. It's like the weather isn't very good, you know, and it's kind of weird, like, how many people do migrate there. I mean, I know people that come from California and stuff from, you know, from California to Portland, and it's like such, the weather is such a crappy change, you know, but there's, there's just something about the vibe of the city. It's like um, everybody's really friendly there, uh, you know, it's very community oriented, you know, there's, it's like very forward thinking. There's a lot of, uh, what would you say? It's like a, a green way of thinking, you know, it's like a, you know, let's actually take care of the planet instead of just fucking make stuff and destroy it, you know, it's like that kind of thing. a little bit hipsterish, you know, and things like that. That doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, more, more so what bothers me is how the price is really going up because of how many people are moving there now. It's the only thing. It's getting more and more expensive because people are catching on to it, you know.
Uh, don't move there because I don't want it to be any more expensive. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a it's a great city, man. It really is. Go fucking crazy! Wild dogs! This is Joel from Tazak Algos. You have my permission to broadcast this footage. Holy fuck, that delay on my vocals is insane. Oh, the delay? It's an initiative song, Awaken the Serpent. All the strip clubs, man. I've never seen a place with more strip clubs. There's, I think there's like 60 strip clubs, and it's the most, I think, per capita in the world. I can't believe it, every corner there's a strip club. So that was probably the thing that stood out right away. Um, on top of that was how big the punk music scene was. It's huge there. Punk is like, uh, you know, everywhere there. Like, you can go to like five shows a night, you know, there's like five competing shows a night for the punk scene. So that was pretty eye-opening too. Never saw anything like it, you know? Cool.